I now hand the conference over to Mr. Kunal Shah from ICICI Securities Limited. Thank you, and over to you, sir. Thank, uh, thanks, Faizan. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Kunal Shah from ICICI Securities. Uh, today, we have with us uh, Mr. Yashpal Gupta, MD and CEO, along with the entire senior management team of uh, Repco Home Finance to discuss their uh, Q1 FY21 uh, earnings. So during this uh, unprecedented time, uh, we would be keen to hear your thoughts on the uh, trends, the collection efficiency, and what would be the near to medium term uh, strategy. So over to you, sir. Thank you very much. And that's for all of you to connect over this conference about quarter one results. As we know, these are unprecedented times. Our financial performance also was affected somewhat due to the COVID scenario. But at the same time, the numbers in the PNL, they remain resilient in spite of the problem. And net profit is continuing. They grew by 34%. While year on year, they remain flat, but slightly higher than 3%. They were not lower. What is make additional provision? The first one and a half months of this current quarter Q1, we do not do any business because everywhere there was lockdown. The things started improving practically from June onwards to May 15th to July. And by the end of the quarter, our development is about 50% of the normal. So now they have improved somewhat after June, but again at the range of 50 to 60%. So we expect that probably by the November, December, which is a mature time also, and the team will also come that time, and who will also overcome the shock, then things will improve. The good part during this period is in there are collection. We have always tried to collect maximum possible, and in first quarter we give 85% maximum, but in second it was only 35%. And we will be able to collect well. The collection is really improving day on day, week on week, and month on month. In fact, in June, as you see, we have been able to reduce the NPA from 4.25% in March to 4.02% in June. Our provision requirement, as per the NDF model that we have, was only 165 crores. What we have made 50 crores of extra portion, 40 crores in March, and 15 crores about in June. So one third portion extra portion. So we have created additional buffer. But deliberately we are keeping the liquidity while it comes at a cost. But at the same time, give confidence to lenders that we are seeing. Plus, if you see our debt ratio has been lower than 61. Our capital education is 26%. If you reduce the entire net it be also, which is about 17 on network, then also our capital education will be than 20%. So we are very safe, our shareholders are very safe. Despite all these things that we have done, like lower debt ratio, the higher capital education ratio, Additional provision is this part that if you see our spread has been more than 3%, our NIM is more than 4.3%, and we hope that for the current year we will be able to maintain. Why the spread and the NMS clearly come down is because income levels are affected because we could not do much new business. Most of the development in the quarter was also over the Loan sanction before March, so we could not get any new, much new business, and that affected our previous income and also the insurance income that we get. But going forward, we are confident our sanctions have started again going up. And we already sanctioned a lot of loans in June, which have disbursed in July. And in July, which will be reserved in August and September, that is, the cycle is starting. Both is running at a 50 to 60 percent speed, but right now we are okay with that. The, if you see, the provision, as I told you, is enough. 
our question has been improving. One problem which I want to share all of you is that lot of you they they ask us lot of invoices that the question are better or equal lower because of the motor arm. But let me tell you one figure. Despite the motor arm, only six point one eight percent of the customers are that who are not paid a single rupee to us since March to June, August. So it is only six point one eight percent of the by value, and about eight and a half percent by sorry eight and a half percent by value, and six point seven percent by number. So that should give us good confidence that despite motor arm. Despite lot of NPL because of the RBI deflation, we are good in collection. Then, if you see that we told in March, you would see that our state two cases had come down to only three percent. In June also, state one and state two was quite state one was quite high, state two was quite low. So we hope that after the March event lifted. We are doing good collection, and that will continue. And over the year, September, December, also our NPS will be under control. That you have to think. The loan book grew by only six percent during the year, but you see, data released by RBI, it is only for the entire banking system. It is only five point five percent. So that is six percent is a decent number, and we hope that going forward it will be much higher. Then this, but right now we are focusing more on the quality, the realm issues, and liquidity, and paying on time. That is our concern, and also we have taken some steps for reducing the operating cost. The our operating cost is already very low, so it is not much cover direction. But wherever possible, we are doing that. And then I repeat, you have the number, the total income. It was 341 per nanco, which four percent higher than last year. The margin was NAU was over three percent. Then the spread was three percent. PET has gone by about three percent despite making extra provision to 64 crores. ROE is 2.2 percent. ROE is lower at 15 percent, but that is because of network increase. So we think I leave the floor open to your questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchtone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Reminder to the participants: Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one. The first question is from the line of Rahul Jain from Credence Wealth. Please go ahead. Thanks for the opportunity, sir. And <coughs> very heartening to know that. And. If I heard it right, only six point one eight percent customers by number of customers and eight and a half percent by value are the customers who have not paid a single installment since March, right, sir? Yes, that is right. Yes. Sure, that's very heartening to note, sir. Uh, sir, couple of questions. Uh, so, in terms of collection efficiency, I missed the figure. What is the collection efficiency as we speak today? See, after two days, uh, beginning of September, it is difficult to uh, know because you might be aware that if you are not aware of the date, or you get the last day of the month. So we have collected, but we will not know till the end of September. If you are asking about August, then again by number, though because we are not a bank, the customer pays bank, then we will reconcile. Today, seventh September, but it should should be according to me. Of course, that is the provisional data, but based on the whatever I know, it should be about sixty-five, seventy percent number by number. Okay. For the other one, yeah. Very 
including pigment is much higher because one challenge we are facing is pigment, but development it should be somewhere between 65 to 70 percent. रेंज ऑफ there we are not seeing much improvement sure no as you know of course as no cases pending on the was of course so most of the customer they are they want to keep cash so when we are giving water them some are hoping that they will get enter waiver by the court some are hoping that they will get waiver out in case of interest and also the activity levels have started to pick up so they are saving cash so there is no significant improvement but definitely there is some improvement and from september because the matter is not there we hope collection is still will improve sure sir so in the previous call quarter call we had mentioned the uh, npa levels to be around 4.5% for this current year uh so as yeah. we speak today what is your understanding or judgment or guidance for the npa numbers for the current year based on the situation today this last time i said that uh, june and september will be lower of course we know because of materium in december will peak to about 4.5 again march we expect to come down by 4.2 or 4% that they don't i don't see any reason to change that figure so of course you are sure there is uncertainty about one thing that uh, you are right in that that uh, once the mortar is lifted the house can start be able to see but based on the feedback that you are getting from ground i don't see any reason to change that estimate sure sure thank you so much sir thank you so much thank you the next question is from the line of sarvesh gupta from maximal capital please go ahead sir um, congrats on a decent set of numbers so first is now that the moratorium is over what kind of response are you getting from your clientele in terms of repayment of the existing liabilities that they have uh, so that's the first question if you can give us some sense of what is happening post moratorium in your business no you are talking about repayment or repayment sir you could not hear that sorry you are asking about prepayment or repayment uh, repayment sir yes yeah. As we, I told you in the previous answer that merger is the whole round with thirty percent agar, and what you take for in our case for all the EMIs are paying, the duty is last year of the month, so the customer has a time to purchase or not to pay. So we don't wait till last day of the month. We start collecting, but generally the collection start from tenth September or tenth of the year of the month. So we know only on, I mean, towards fifteen or twenty years, all the customers are actually paying. But based on the feedback that we receive from market, while they are talking to customers, we hope to that collection of revenue should be much better. But I cannot say number because the due date is only last year's month. It will not be proper for me to say a number to that. But I can tell you that. We expect a much significant improvement in the collection. Okay, and secondly, if I heard you correctly, you have made a total excess provision of fifty-five crores uh, in yes. March and June quarter, forty plus fifteen. Yes. And uh, you know, if I look at your loan book, and if I, which is eleven thousand crore plus, and if I look at even your stage three assets. as of now which are uh, roughly around 500 crores 
in relation to both of these this 55 crore looks to be a very tiny provision which has been made uh, so what gives you this confidence that 55 crore would be good enough to absorb the entire hit that you are going to take from uh, march to june which is like four months of covid will be absorbed within 55 crores of additional credit cost while the moratorium was on it looks to be on a very lower side sir if you can give us your sense of what gives you this confidence that this is enough yeah. the one is that the what we get confidence from is number one we are in the business for more than 20 years now this year in the main month we celebrated 20 years of our existence in the last 20 years if you say principal do you have that is customer not paying you in the 100 percent principal we are going to we were is only 50 crore 50 the last 20 years we have been giving we were of only 50 crore of principal number one number two we we are into secure lending housing loan and mortgage loan or every ltv side is only ltv somewhere low somewhere high but only 60% so in all the cases we we do sell properties by subsidy or that we invariably recover more than 100% principal and of course more than when we we are talking about only principal we negotiate even today even today i am saying we are negotiating last week only this is negotiation where principal amount is 2.2 crore in bank of us what we have done ots was 3 crore so we never negotiate on principal there are some cases but we are very far in between so that is the second thing the third thing is that we have fund we had a bonded lender in 2018 they continue to be with us eny as our advisor for the easier calculation and they have gone into the ost and all that and they have designed a model of uh, based on pd and the expected credit cost they have arrived at the last one the what they were at we arrived at easier so these as per their model of course we have religious it no problem but that is 165 crores based on that we can always say what is gives us so confidence but to me our total provision as on uh, 30th june is 210 crores our book size course is called on course so provision as a percentage of book is about 1.8% You see, all the other finance company, those who are into retail lending, even we don't have any exposure to builder financing. Or, I mean, we have acquired builders, but not the builder company. Uh, builders might have taken individual loans from us. We don't have anything. Uh, to, uh, all our loans are retail loans. You see, all other other finance companies who are no uh, provision of their uh, retail board. It is less than one percent. We have made one point eight percent. So these are the factors which show the confidence that is the extra portion. Nobody can say what is that. But based on these factors which I have told you, this gives us confidence that there is enough profit for us. Plus, last part, as I told you, if you take our NPS with net NPS, we have history three is about fourteen four. Minus provision two hundred odd crores. It is removed also from net worth entirely. Even then, our capital is only more than twenty percent. I think these are enough questions available for. Understood, sir. And finally, on the growth side, sir, what is your guidance for uh, you know given what you have seen in the last five months of this pandemic? So, what is the sort of sense that you are getting on the growth side will we be able to are we even thinking about it or we are just focused into uh, collections for this and liability management for this financial year no, no we are we are thinking as i told you that in june itself uh, we had reached 50% on our normal business in july in fact it was 60% we also saw it grow because of Some technical issues on the side, the website, the, whereby we could not register publicly for some time. 
But we are very much thinking of this. The problem that children you are facing right now is that banks are very aggressive. They are teaching over the load. And as a result, net worth is not very high because the takeovers are very aggressive and they are giving 7%, they are not percent, which you cannot match. So I would not like to give any guidance, but last time I said I, we expect that growth should be about 5% or so. But to be frank, uh, I don't think anybody knows this figure. And if you ask anybody, some say green shoot, some say white shoot. So I don't think anybody is aware. It depends on what will happen to Corona, when the lockdown will lift it fully, when it will come again. So there are so many associations. So I will not like to give any figure, but I would say that definitely if you see even in June month we are grown vis-a-vis -vis March. Today we are much slightly higher than June. So there will be some growth, but what it is, it is difficult to say. We are expecting, if you insist on figure, we are expecting somewhere between 5 to 8 percent. That is net book growth. Thank you. Mr. Gupta, may we request that you return to the question queue for follow-up questions as there are several participants waiting for their turn. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to ensure that the management is able to address questions from all participants in the conference, please limit your questions to two per participant. Should you have a follow-up question, we would request you to rejoin the question queue. The next question is from the line of Viraj Mehta from Equiris PMS. Please go ahead. Uh, sir, how, ma how many people uh, actually took your moratorium to? See, moratorium to is about 35%. So, sir, and when you say that only 6% people have not paid any installment, then even not within that 35%? Pardon, pardon? So, sir, you mentioned in your opening comments that only 6.18% yes. people have not paid any installment since March. Is that right? Yes. So then, yes, so then how, uh, so then how does these two figures match? Like, uh, have 30% people out of that 35% people have ended up paying post moratorium two because moratorium two has just ended. So, can't can't understand those two numbers. Okay, let me explain. One is that number, let me repeat again. Number six point eight percent and value is eight point seven percent. Now, when we give model, there might have been like you see much further. There are stage one cases, stage one is zero to thirty days the value. Now there might have been account was past value. So they have taken moratorium. Moratorium is only for the current installment. Moratorium is only for the current installment. Whereas many of them might have been awarded in the past. So when you say they have made some payment, it might not have been towards current EMI. It is towards past EMI. When I say that 6.8% of our customers have not paid anything at all, we did not pay past overdue or current development. 35% uh, development or modulum is for the current development, but they might have paid for the past. Okay. Okay. So, so September, since the moratorium is now over, so let's say yes. September, October is, is going to give you a clearer picture, but yes. how, how many accounts do you think should be up to date by the time September ends? Or let's say by 15th of October. I mean, it is very difficult for me to give any target for that. But we are expecting that because the up to date means 0% default. 0% default. That may not happen. Because customer, some customer, especially in our case, they pay, they are, stage 1 is 0 to 30 days. So it may be 2 days default, 3 days default, like that. But of course, I would put it this way, we are expecting collection of efficiency about 90% in September. Okay. That should be what we are looking at. So 90% people 
uh, will end up paying whether it is past overdue or current installment. But 90% people will pay this month is what your expectation is. Yeah, correct. Now they must pay fully. Some will pay partially, some will pay fully. Like for example, they are three MIs over you. They may pay two MIs. Yes. And and sir, in terms of provisioning, in terms of credit cost, uh, compared to 40 crores last quarter, we have reduced our provisioning this quarter. Uh, what is this? Is this the run rate in terms of provisioning that you expect, and that is the credit cost we will have, or, or, I mean, and do we see an uptick, and that is why we have reduced our quarter on quarter provisioning run rate? No, see, actually, provisioning should never be quarter on quarter. Provisioning is the accumulated figure. It is not that what apparently made provision Q4 has gone away. That remains the balance sheet, correct? So, the account is not at every quarter, because the account at every quarter means 160 for the entire year. Right. Correct or not? So, we don't expect that. We are, we are planning maybe, and these are additional provisions as I told you. There is a model which calculates provision which is made by ENY, and then we make a provision based on the cases, uh, analysis, and all that together. Now, this year we are targeting, as of now, as we speak today, taking my team, but we are targeting additional provision of about 50 to 60 crores. Additional over and above what the model says. So that's why we made 15 this quarter. Because we are targeting 50 or 60 crore to make additional provision for the year. Understood. And so, last thing I wanted to know is uh, because banks and even some of the NBFCs of the banks have become, housing NBFCs of the banks have become very aggressive. Has the takeover rate of your customers increased uh, sub substantially in last uh, six months, three months? If you can just uh, provide a color. Yeah, it has increased for last three months. Of course, because April May was not good for banks also in terms of the problem of uh, the COVID-19. But yes, from May onwards, it has started increasing. Not substantially, but I will tell a figure also. It was earlier 70 crore per month. It is about now 100 plus crore per month. So we are losing almost 10 11 percent of our book every year to take over. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. You are right. Every last year it was 9 percent. This year so far, of course, it will may be a third. Then yes, 10 11 percent per year. Yes. Right. So essentially, if we have to grow five six percent, we have to actually grow seventeen eighteen percent, seventeen percent. Yeah, you are right. But but we think it is possible because uh, if you look at our book size of our twenty thousand crore, if you look at seventy eight percent, even twenty percent, come to two thousand four hundred already, and we are quite capable of doing two thousand four hundred, two thousand five hundred. Those last two, three months have been bad, has beginning two, three months of the financial have been bad, but we started picking up. We may not need 2,400, but it is doable. Well, it's not very high. If you see last year also, we did 2,700. Before that year, we did 3,000, 3,200. So 2,400 is not going to be, it is difficult, it is challenging, but it's not impossible. Thank you, sir, and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ankit Gupta from Bamboo Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, sir, uh, we saw a significant decline in our incremental cost of borrowing uh, for the June quarter. It went almost as low as 6.37%. So, uh, what was the key reason for that? Was it the uh, was it borrowing from NHV at low rate of interest the main contributor for that? Yes, NHV has given 5.05 percent. Plus, various other banks are also giving it either sub 8 percent or 8 percent. 
So in Gimal, this cost has come down. Average cost has not come down this high because, you know, this amount was only 200 crores, whereas that book is about 10,000 crores. So average cost has not come down significantly, but the incremental cost has come down, yes. Sure. But if we go to the bank currently who are our current lenders, will we be uh, will will they be charging us interest rate of let's say sub seven percent or sub seven and a half percent currently? See, I I cannot tell you the name of the bank, but one yes, bank has two hundred yeah. yeah seven point three percent it varies. Yeah. Like some banks have given us at seven point three percent, some banks have given us at at around seven point seven five percent, some banks are going at eight percent. So it will vary. Now sub seven percent are short term notes. Like for example, the CPs which are TLDRO lending, that is available, but that is short term. Our next this one. So I would say sub eight percent is more easy to say. Some loans are given at below seven and a half also. Sure, sure, got it. And so we have, you know, uh, taken a provision for raising NCDs of uh, 4,000 crore. So uh, can you tell us what were the key reasons for that? Have we, you know, what kind of uh, rate of interest are we targeting for uh, raising this NCDs? And what will be the purpose of this NCDs? Will they be replacing our current high cost of borrowing? Or is it that, you know, we, we, we want to grow this year and next year also? So we are looking to borrow additional money as well. No, NCD approval we took uh, mostly as a stop, stop cap arrangement is required. But uh, to be frank, we are not targeting raise an NCD because the cost is quite high. When okay. we are getting turnover at below 8%, uh, that took 10 for 10 years loan. Why should we raise NCD for 3 to 5 years? Yes, the application of borrowing is a um, good office, but not at the cost. So sure. as we take this provision approval, but that is not likely to be exact. So, so currently your NCD uh, cost of, of or the, the the coupon rate on NCDs that you will be that uh, if you approach the NCD market will be higher than you know your bank uh, or the rate at which you will be borrowing from the bank. Yeah, correct. That's why we are not doing that. Okay, okay. And CPs, if we want to uh, borrow from the CP market currently, what rate can we be, will we be, you know, targeting? Of course, as you know, change the daily CP market. Sure, sure. Yeah. It can be six, six and a half, seven. That we borrow, negotiate. That CP is a short term phenomenon. So it can vary. True, 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 sir, true. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. The next question is from the line of a viral chain from SG India. Please go ahead. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible, sir. Yeah. Uh, just I wanted to understand. So now that moratorium is over, how will uh, how will the uh, uh, would there be any possibility of restructuring to some of the borrowers? Uh, all of the borrowers uh, would, uh, as in all the EMIs would be due, and there'd be people who would lag behind. So, are we allowed to restructure, and what would be the basic mechanism under which restructuring could take place? No, that's not. we're allowed to restructure up to December. That is why we to see how it works out, how many customers. P, how many are really in program? That is called the restructuring, which should take somewhere in maybe October. After seeing the performance of payment record of them in September. But yes, they are allowed to do. Second, how do you work out? And what Arbus has said is you have to take board approval. And maximum extension you can give it two years. So it could mean many things like restriction in case which probably will not do, or the reduce the EMI in the near future or moratorium, but maximum you can do two years. So that may happen. I do not rule that out, but uh, to whom, how many customers 
what will your customers what book size what will tell that we are going to take call on that will be called after the performed payment record of the customer so what i'm hearing is uh, uh, there there is a two year uh, flexibility or two year extension which will be allowed under the moratorium under another restructuring but uh, can you can you also restructure state three assets as well as a part of restructuring or would there be any cut off in terms of uh, borrower classification as of a certain date there will be no restructuring to the arbitrary well, if you see there is a cut off like on 1st of march it should be stage one as on 30 as on 1st of march and should be, so there are we said you can reach only those that said which are the stage one as on 1st of march number one. number two is that they should not be employed your own employees so there are some conditions we to we have to see but it should be as on today they may should be but they should be stage one as on 1st of march got it sure thank you sir yeah, that's uh, so basically uh, it cannot fall below 4% as an if our book remains static because our state three assets were as of today it's 4% so the 4% npa unless the borrower pays by themselves will remain in um, will remain in state three and and 90 plus and more and they cannot be uh, restructured as in specifically for repo right so the other meter Sorry, come again, sir. I could not understand. What I'm saying is that by this treatment, they will not fall below four percent, but we can fall below four percent by recording the money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you. That's it from my side. Thank you. Yes. The next question is from the line of Amy Kulkarni from Candor Investing. Please go ahead. Ami Kulkarni, your line is in talk mode. Please go ahead with your question. Good to hear. Hello. Yes, you are audible now. Yeah. Uh, sir, my question is this: uh, slide number thirteen of the presentation. You have a lot of loans uh, in stage three, which are more than two years old, three years old. Almost nine sixty-five yeah. loans are more than th- two years old, and. Uh, around 770 loans are more than 3 years old and they are empty uh, why have we not uh, gone for uh, selling of these assets and uh, recovering our money sir no actually it started we are not doing we are doing but we have to look at many various factors like where the property located whether he is coming for or for the german so those are uh, i mean we yes, have those are operational issues We will decide based on case by case approach. Okay, because more than three or MPA seems to be a very uh, long time, sir. No, as I told you, there are it may seem you are right, but uh, when you do business, there are many factors like there may family issues, there may difficulty in getting the permission of the court or district collector. So many issues are there. So we try to do that, but uh, I mean that is what the reference company should decide. Correct. Okay. Those are not uh, no. Okay, sir. Sir, I have more questions. I will come back and tell you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Akash Datani from HDFC Securities. Please go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Hi. Uh, good evening, and um, thank you for taking my questions. Um, so, uh, my first question is on your uh, NPA guidance. So, uh, if I heard you correctly, you mentioned that uh, by March thirty first, you expect NPAs to be around uh, that is your gross stage three at about at around four percent, similar yes. to current levels. Yes. Um, yes. So. Um, at the same time if i look at over the last two quarters um you have provided about 55 crores over and above what is required as per your ecl model and um in 1q your uh, stage 3 coverage 
is um you know has increased substantially so my question is that you know um since the company is too conservative on loan to value ratio um and you do not expect you know an increase in nps why make the ex- why provide uh, why make these additional provisions hi so what is your name sorry uh akash okay akash sometimes that today only 15 to 20 members that one question was why is not enough is that question is very more than enough so what i'm thinking is that there is no right number here okay there is no right number here some people think sutra is not enough it is just a sort of plain powder it will work out for anything some are saying sutra is not enough why you are calling so what we do is that based on there are so many questions like what is our overall profit what is question roller what is the capital base what is likely scenario But lot of those things. Is, so I will say, yes, 25 is a subjective figure. It could have been 50, it could have been 60, it could have been 40, it could have been 80. This is right. never possible to classify everybody. We thought based on all these parameters that I told you, 25 is the right number. Even like you told you, currently we are looking at around 55, 50 to 60 crore, offering 50 crore we have got it. Now, probably it will increase, decrease is not time. But these are the issues on which management has to take a subjective decision. So I would say we okay. felt this is the right number. Right. So, and in your investor presentation this time, you have, on slide number five, you have mentioned um, that there is about uh, rupees 5,700 million, which are CRE housing loans within LAP. um could you please elaborate on that yeah see actually what we did was there was a little confusion in like uh, we had two loans as two two types of loans one is the house loan second is lab loan now we always used to tell lab is around 18% but 7% also somewhere sometimes 90% of it is for twice but when we actually they are not lab loans alone So they are they are combination of non housing loans. For example, that includes the land loan, of course, then plot loan, and then CRA, the commercial estate. Now, as per well, NHB definition, now of course they are called to RBI. If somebody has a more than three kitchens, three kitchens or more in the house, like in South India, there is a percentage of we. Finance order of twelve crore second houses, so they okay. may be three sort of building. We are entire family may be staying father, mother, brother, sister, son, son-in-law, daughter-in-law, etc. Now they may be in kitchen, and they become CRE. We will charge higher rate for that. We will make this quality of every asset is also hundred percent, but normal loan is lower. So what we want to say is, lab is not only lab. The lab plus the proton plus the air. Right. So, so this portion that you have mentioned in your presentation, what would be the average um, ticket size of these loans? Of the for this five thousand seven hundred twenty five lakh. Again, twenty five lakh, twenty lakh, like that. Average is very low. Right. Okay. um and so my last question is um you mentioned that your collection efficiency in august was about 65 to 70% and um you all, and you mentioned that about uh 8.5% of your customers have not paid a single installment so the difference between these so you know the the balance would be the customers who have paid one or two installments yeah let me clear it is 8.7% 8.7 percent. Okay, okay. Um, so um, yeah, that's it from Mayan. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Sanket Chera from BNK Securities. Please go ahead. Hello. So uh, my question was that uh, on NPA guidance uh, that you are saying that uh, the NPA will rise in. 
थ्री एंड इन क्यू फोर इट विल बी बैक टू फोर परसेंट लेवल सो जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू आर दैट आर वी बिल्डिंग एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग इन दिस गार्डन गाइडेंस एज वेल सो इफ यस देन वॉट वुड बी ब्रॉडर रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग नंबर दैट वी we uh, take into account maybe 4% 5% of the book see as far as the bnp guidance is concerned are we building in restricting matter yes now how much is we will have to do as you know that two things one is that customer is not in a position to pay but is meeting the rp requirement that is he say join as on first possibly what mark so you should see that and arbitrary corner of the it should not have been restricted at all in the past so all those things you have taken to one this is the initial knowing the sole actual after the payment record the second as you know arbitrary says for the exchange to make 10% provision we cannot afford huge provision so how much we are paying we do not know that guidance it will not be approved for me to give the guidance now maybe when we do concord or the tour we in a better position but yes the np guidance does pertain to this section yes yeah so the guidance that we are giving is uh, is also subject to change maybe a quarter later see is that right i need to understand very can but we probably are keeping it very low we expect interest to be about 4.5 in december and by in the quarter of fourth quarter generally things are better so that's why we expect to for and we are it is not a mere reason we are also internally working on that our teams have been sort of we have made a strategy based on that and we are directing also our team on that basis to achieve certain parameters so these are not mere guidelines they are based on our well thought out strategy and execution now of course this is not actually the watering of cool situation like some people are saying india is a so city was you want know that is not actually i agree but otherwise what is this real right number okay sir thank you the next question is from the line of bandi chawla from idbi please go ahead <clears throat> thank you sir thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, sorry i joined late if i am repetitive uh, sir if i see the net addition in the loan book on a sequential basis there has been approximately 39 million rupees as against sanction of around 16 million rupees 1600 million rupees so there seems to be some uh, interest accrual part which has been added into the loan book so if you can share that number total how much interest accrued added in the loan book in q1 fy21 see actually i think the number is uh, not clear it's about what you mentioned 11826 to 7000 about 979 So the addition is about one hundred fifty one hundred fifty four. So I think yes. this is change number second. Oh, uh, sir, uh, as you have given in the loan book, AUM number eleven one one nine seven nine five million of the loan book, and if I de- uh, deduct the Q four FI twenty one number, which is one one five eight double seven, so it comes to around three nine one five billion. so that i was referring to uh, the net addition has been 3918 billion versus disbursement you have done 1816 billion uh, million so that difference i was trying to understand the what new addition has been is it the interest accrual part sir no it is the board part see the i said no the book size there is increase because of it is a cold capital gain plus yes. disbursement Sanction will not act. This person and minus repayment minus repayment. So yes, sir. So after so, that, that you are mala until you offline this person. Okay, okay, no problem, sir, no problem. And lastly, sir, sir, one uh, just reconfirmation of the numbers. You said 
as of august uh, 20 uh, as of august 2020 the moratorium number is 35% of the book and 9% by value is the number which has not given a single emi am i right sir just a confirmation yes not a single emi from march from march okay okay understood thank you thank you very much sir and best of luck thank you the next question is from the line of manish agarwal from philip capital please go ahead yeah uh, sir my question is regarding the growth outlook for next uh, two to three years uh, how do you see that can we go back to 20% kind of loan growth that's one and how do you intend to overcome the challenges like takeover challenge by the banks you have 6% gnp in non salary segment so how do you you know, plan to or intend to overcome these challenges to go back to 20% kind of growth thank you yeah okay so of course we are talking on mutual long term trading there are various options we keep on discussing like for example we do not appoint any as of now dss are individual so maybe change our business model upon uh, corporate dss that's the one second is we do not go for very low category customer where you can charge 18 90% and ticket size is five times that so what say pani puri sellers of the vegetable vendors we can go to that segment of them how is that we can tie up with a bank so of course this is current day we keep on asking but this not the same or we can expand our footprint to the other part of india where it is not present like northern india central india so our friends are very small so when we look at 20% growth may be difficult at the base it was okay at the base of 3 to 4000 crore but our base is already 12000 crore or we can purchase up like as a present in the year 2018 and in we did purchase a small securitization pool of 39 for the white core from shubhu housing we can purchase some books so it is a various factors that going to play but as of now we are not thinking of any major long term issue except what we are doing complete revamping our it system other things we are right now we are focusing on this year to overcome and overcome strongly out of this pandemic and then plan for long term but long term we keep on discussing here yes. so if i you know uh, heard you correct uh, you mean to say uh, going back to you know this kind of growth of 20% plus would be uh, difficult for you given what the base is right now at this stage it will be difficult if economy remains like this if economy grows we will also go we will go there only did 20% because the economy gdp was going at 7-8% so if the gdp comes down to the level again we will increase and how do you see uh, yeah, the ter- scenario in tamil nadu particularly which is your home market uh, there also you know for last many many quarters you know we have been just uh, uh, you know uh, being around single digit growth uh, do you see things changing maybe in next one year time frame there or do you see same single digit growth there for the next one year two years we don't see anywhere growth to be higher except where base is small in terminal you see our base is very large so that is the factor plus that is the old book so apart from the prevent that they cover there are normal payments also so next one two years in terminal do i see single is growth only but after that maybe economy bounces back everything become normal this will go to gate to 10% then we are supposed to go at 20 30% thank you sir so now we are not giving that yes thank you sir thank you remind you to the participants anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1
The next question is from the line of Hari Patak, individual investor. Please go ahead. Sir, uh, in your key markets of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Maharashtra, how are housing prices holding? Are they uh, trending downwards or flat or can you share some perspective? See, they are of course going down as compared to March they have gone down. But what we find is that the prices in this market have not gone down significantly. Maybe ten percent down. Like for example, earlier you could reach a flat of fifty lakh, maybe you could be not pay only forty five lakhs. That was happening long before. It's not because of the pandemic alone. There were huge inventories position. So I would say prices are gone down, but not significantly. And you think uh, this will have any impact on us? Uh, how do you see it playing out for you? See, one impact obviously is that the equity value goes down, then recovery becomes difficult. But as I told you, that our average LTV is a 60 percent, and prices are gone down only by 10 percent. So even then, we have LTV of 70 percent. Still, we have enough cushion. So I don't think any impact will be there. I think that is overstated impact. That will not be some extra thing, but I don't see major impact because of prices going down. Income layers of people going down is a bigger worry for us than the value of security going down. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. As there are no further questions. I would now like to hand the conference over to Mr. Kunal Shah for closing comments. Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Gupta and the entire senior management team of uh, Repco for uh, addressing all the queries and uh, sharing the perspective. And uh, thanks uh, all the participants for taking time out and participating on the call. Uh, thank you. Thank you. On behalf of ICICI Securities Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines.